Today's word of the day is counter-narrative. It's a relatively new word that isn't even in Merriam-Webster's dictionary yet. According to Wiktionary, it refers to a narrative that goes against another narrative. Personally, I hate when words are defined by using a part of the word that you're trying to understand. I think a better definition is that a counter-narrative is a story from a perspective that differs from the prevailing accepted version of events. The word came up in a book that I recently read and loved called Blood and Oil. It's by award-winning Wall Street Journal reporters Bradley Hope and Justin Sheck. Um, this book was an exhaustively researched account of Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's rise to power. It details MBS's attempts to diversify his country's economy away from oil via investments in uh, global businesses and domestic tourism, as well as his often ruthless and violent treatment of detractors or really anyone that stood in his way. In one section concerning the murder of author, journalist, and commentator Jamal Khashoggi, the authors use the word counter-narrative to describe the Saudi Arabian government's attempt to absolve MBS of any guilt in the assassination. Many in the intelligence community believe that MBS ordered Khashoggi's killing, which was caught on audio tape by Turkish authorities. The authors wrote, by Saturday, October 20th, the counter-narrative, which stripped the Crown Prince of any culpability, emerged with an account that Saudi agents traveled to Turkey to bring Khashoggi back to Saudi Arabia, but the discussions escalated negatively and led to a fight and then quarrel between some of them and the citizen. The brawl aggravated to lead to his death and their attempt to conceal and cover up what happened. It's worth noting that the counter narrative here is not widely accepted, at least not in the West where audio tapes of what happened in this Saudi consulate in Istanbul have been publicized. My name is Kate Hollihan. I'm an author and former journalist, and I love the English language and all the wonderful words in it that let us say exactly what we're thinking and what we mean. Words matter. Choose yours wisely.